Hello students and welcome to another flipped social studies lesson. Today we're starting a brand new unit of study. For the next few weeks we'll be learning about the development of early man. The study of human history and prehistory through the process of digging up the remains of early people and their communities is called archaeology. Archaeologists are the scientists who learn about those early people by digging up and studying the remains of their settlements. In the movies, the character of Indiana Jones is an archaeologist. You may also remember the movie Jurassic Park, in which uh, archaeologists study dinosaur bones to find out about dinosaurs' existence in prehistoric times. Whether they are interested in early humans or dinosaurs, archaeologists study two types of clues in order to find out about the past, fossils and artifacts. Fossils are the remains of early life preserved in rock. Fossils were once living and include things such as plants, animal bones, human skeletons, ancient crustaceans like this shrimp, and prehistoric bugs. This fossil is one of my favorites, and it's called a trilobite. Essentially, it's a huge prehistoric potato bug. Artifacts, on the other hand, were never alive. Artifacts are ancient man-made objects, such as jewelry, pottery, and dishes, religious objects, and more. So to sum up, fossils were once living, and artifacts were never alive, they were simply man-made. In studying fossils, archaeologists have discovered several species of human-like beings. Human-like beings are called hominids, and they were first um, appeared on the continent of Africa. We will discuss four different types of hominids. The earliest species of hominid is called an Australopithecine. Other species include Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and Homo sapiens. Let's take a look at each of the species and their achievements. Australopithecines lived about 4.5 million years ago and were the smallest hominid. They were generally about 3 feet tall and were the first human-like creature to walk on two legs. Australopithecine brains were generally about the size of a chimp's. The next oldest species of hominid is called Homo habilis, and in the ancient language of Latin, homo means man and habilis means habits or skills. This makes sense because Homo habilis was the first hominid species to develop and use stone tools. And as you can see, their brain is larger than that of the Australopithecines. Homo erectus lived about 1.6 million years ago, and in Latin, the species name means upright man. Homo erectus was actually the first hominid species to walk fully upright on two legs. This was also the first hominid species to develop more complex tools, invent fire, and move out of Africa into Asia and Europe. The final hominid species that we'll discuss are the Homo sapiens. In Latin, it means wise man. Homo sapiens are the hominid species that we belong to, and it makes sense because Homo sapiens are credited with developing more complex tools than either the Homo habilis or Homo erectus were able to create. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Don't forget to take notes in your Google Drive, fill out the form, and click Submit. See you in class.